Hello my friend, here is Bayan. It's a very rainy day today, so I just look at this, uh, this pool. I'm gonna work to make a picnic table out of it and see how it's gonna work. It is rough shape. Like you guys can see, the nails are all popping out, put the opposite way. I try to bang them in. And I just want to keep it on the rough shape. The other side might be a bit better. But I want to work on this one. Because of the original color. It's painted yellow. And uh, looking good. Like you guys can see the wood is open and stuff. I'm just gonna use a clamp. Clamp it all up. Put some screws and sand it down and try to keep uh, the original conditions as much as I can you guys can see in there just what it is very much is on a rough shape but nothing too much that cannot be done and this is gonna be a gonna use it as a table on the, for the exterior so I don't need something super crazy I just want something strong and I might pick up a set of wheels put the wheels underneath it that way you can just uh, push it around on the yard and just about it let me see how it looks from the other side like you guys can see this other side in a little bit better shape but I just want to do it on the rougher side because I want to keep the rough looking this is what it is and the color this one has some color to it but I prefer to use this side with the yellow and red in there Okay, let's get to work and I'm gonna just bang those nails in and put some few screws and then we take from there. Yeah guys, a big gap in there. I'm just gonna use this clamp and push it all together. guys can see nice and tight this one is something else but here you guys can see nice and tight and I can grab another clamp try to do this one a bit before I put some screws I have these screws, it's a little bit too long, but I'm just gonna put it in angle. Then you can see it doesn't come on this side. So I'm just gonna only screw this guys this one at least just to show you and myself to see how good it's gonna hold like that good enough for what we need and then I'm gonna just gonna keep going all around it on both sides and then I'm gonna fix the nails because some nails gonna stick out and then I would gonna sand it and do the finish gonna be about it I might attach a set of wheels to the bottom of it that way you can move it around and uh, go from there let me work yeah guys for this one here this is masonry blades because I have a lot of nails there so I'm gonna run this this one first let's bang it up
Yeah, my friends. Have a little bit of sanding. This is how it looks. The, you can see the nails up, sanded up. I'm gonna sand a little bit more, clean up a little bit more, just to show you guys. But I want those nails to be showing like that since they were there. Once to the, the finished coat, I just want them to, to show rough. So this is for the rough looking. Let's keep work on it. Do some more sanding and the stuff around here. Gotta go another little bit sanding, right? Just done a quick rough in that just to see how it looks. But uh, wood looks good, and I think gonna be a a nice project. Let's keep going. Something to pass the time when it's just uh, rainy, rainy, rainy. Yeah, my friends, in my table here, I just intend to cut few of these pieces somewhere in there, remove them, and make a storage inside this hole. So I'm gonna do. I just have the saws on here. All I'm gonna do, gonna cut it, remove it and make my storage with uh, should work okay yeah just to show you guys yeah that is cut so this is how it's gonna be i intend to make a storage i'm gonna send I'm gonna send all this up that way you don't get hurt and then uh, I'm gonna put a divider in here a round piece of plywood or something just to hold some butter up some uh, if you are like to drink you can drink something at the same time I try to make a hole just to go down that way you can put an umbrella so about the noise of my body would pick because he's just making quite a bit of noise you can hear he just make a nest on the tree and uh, I guess he's just look for a girlfriend but either way it's all good so let me keep working here so my plan is all to send all this good that way nobody get a something on the hand from the wood and uh, after that I just gonna make my stain and see how it looks okay let me keep working here and get this job done okay guys like you can see done some sand nice and smooth here and there so right now i'm gonna check to see what uh, type of stain that i have and i just gonna work with some leftover and do some final touch you guys can see i like the the old coal they have there, the stain probably gonna mix good with the the swell and the rusted part and water damage. So this is what uh, I want it for, just to look. They looks rough. The rest I just just some sand to keep the nails down. Like you guys can see, you can see the nails, but they are just smooth and flat. So it's not a problem in there. And probably still have uh, some tape in there that I didn't remove it. And not to, like I say, not to worry about it. I just was the character of the table. Another thing that I done in here is not there yet. Just for you guys to see. You see the piece of plywood in there. I just put a piece of plywood to use the, the space. The space in between to store some stuff. Right now I just uh, put it there, it's not now nothing yet. And uh, I'm gonna check to see if I have a set of wheels. And I would install a few wheels on it, that way we can push it around the yard. And uh, just for you guys to see, I'm gonna flip this guy over. Just to show you guys the other side, how these nails were before sticking out quite a bit 
just to show you this is how that side there I know you can look on the video before nails is very sticking out I just uh, punched them in didn't try to remove them because it would be a lot of, a lot of work and uh, there you go you guys can see very much the result not too bad this bottom part I'm not gonna do much I'm just gonna set up uh, some wheels on it and go from there I have my piece of plywood there as a storage either way or I would put a few nails to hold it on place or I just glue it on yeah looks looks rough looks good what I was expecting I'm just gonna check to see if I have an, uh, an old umbrella to set on it and uh, to make my cut and how I gonna set it up and go from there before I stain it okay let me keep going here hello guys here we are we work on my table my picnic table just try to paint this part on blue and the top you see we just uh, wrote down the number back and put some stain on it so it to look a little bit funk and then we're just gonna seal it with a uh, valentine I'm gonna be about it and this one here we're just gonna paint it blue on this side on the center of the the spool and gonna give cup a coat to keep it nice and clean cup coat of nice blue paint and I have I have Julie here help us today the artist So here pretty much we just throw one coat in here, we're just gonna put another coat. This is just not uh, put uh, just the blue paint. Two coats should cover good. And we rock and roll. Hello guys, yes, next day after work. I'm just gonna put another coat of uh, seal on this guy. So I'm just gonna do a little sand, clean it up. And uh, Recoat it. I'm just gonna do another coat. The little sand is just to make it a little bit rough that way it's coat hold on. You guys can see the difference. Dry wet. The longest strike is good, that way you don't have a line. Usually this clear finish is pretty good. Don't leave much line. Few minutes and it's good to go. You guys can see I just gonna do here the the roundabout like you guys can see in the mid there I have my spot to to keep my my bottle of wine or beer or something or spice for the next barbecue and this part in here I just want a little bit clean up a little bit Put one coat of stain in there. I might put just one coat of clear coat. I'm gonna be about it and then the wheels. Once I have the wheels, all I have to do is uh, set up my umbrella and uh, push it on the yard and where we need to. Now the pizza looks great. I might, in particular, I like this wood. This is very hard wood. 
green salt. This is a uh, would last a lifetime. Okay, guys, I gonna keep going here on this border. Do another a clear coat on it and uh, keep it that way. All right. Hello my friends, yes for the for the bottom of the table I set up wheels that way give a can push it around like I mentioned before this two here has direction this one they are sold and here I put just a little piece of plywood this is to hold the wood for the umbrella so I'm just gonna lift this one up, gonna show you how this works. And this is a, uh, we've been using it this summer, like it's almost the end of the summer. And I just wants to try it, we've been use it, uh, move it around the yard and up here on the balcony because we just had a little meeting here and now with the so social distance, we just need what we have to keep people separate. So let me lift it up and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it look with the umbrella. Let me find a place in here, let's say you here. The sun is hot and you want to put the umbrella on. I just had this umbrella kicking around. What we're doing here, I'm just gonna grab the umbrella, put it up. I'm just gonna use few screws that I have here to hold it on place, something like that. Let me see, maybe I just need to move it a little bit more this way. can see put it up I put my screen there or something right place is uh, good nice and simple and then we have uh, some shade to enjoy during the summer and it's about it this is a uh, work perfect and this is like little salt and the the product that you use to seal it on top, this is a, the sealer is a for the floor. So this is a, the exterior floor, so this is per resistant. You will be to use it and you look, you don't see any scratch on it. Looks great. Yes, my friends, here like you can see, here I just create a, a little bit of storage space that you can keep some stuff maybe some wine something that you drink or even uh, some spice or stuff like that it's, it's quite a bit of space in there like if you if you use it as a table one of this as a table it paid off just to to make the storage because you can keep quite a bit of stuff and uh, it's very good if uh, if you want to be do something else, you can even put a screen if that is the case. If you don't want any fly to go to it or stuff like that, but here I was considered just to keep some wine, some beer, some spice, so stuff like that. When you make up a, a barbecue today and plan to make it on the next few days, so you can keep some stuff in there, and it helps a lot. Guys, nice table. And my friends, thank you very much. I love you and I see you later.